Well, when it comes to drones, the way they're used, why they're used, there's one man who's been talking about this since just since before just about anyone, and that is radio host Alex Jones. He's in Austin, Texas right now. Hey there, Alex. It's so crazy because I think about these little, you know, cameras with wings on it flying in your win bedroom window while you're sleeping, but the reality is, you know, as far as these new drones are concerned, why should anyone care? I mean, hasn't this surveillance stuff already been going on for years? 14 years ago, some plainclothes Marines showed up down at the TV studio here in Austin and wanted to meet with me, and they popped a VHS tape in that was a, a copy uh, of uh, drones watching myself and my cameraman at the time, Mike Hansen, in Northern California and Central California in Oakland at an urban warfare drill. And, and, and they said, yeah, we're listeners. We, uh, we were involved in all this. Uh, you, you were being watched and tracked with drones. So, yes, it's been going on a long time. Uh, but slavery's been going on in history for a long time. Uh, and, and it isn't, you know, right today when it happens in Africa um, or if it happened 2,000 years ago. But, yes, this has been happening. And the military-industrial complex is basically, through Homeland Security and NORTHCOM, devouring the United States. The red light cameras, defense contractor run, uh, the mercenary firms, defense contractors training police and, and actually engaging citizens now and running private security. All of this, the data mining, the surveillance, uh, the most common forms of scholarships now in the last decade uh, in, in colleges are for data mining, spying on fellow citizens. Our economy is shifting from manufacturing and farming uh, and, and, and textiles to a giant prison grid, and the homeland itself is, is becoming locked down. I mean, they've got drones with face scanning cameras. They've got weaponized drones deployed in the United States, uh, and they brag about it. Protesters six years ago reported in, in D.C. that they saw big, what looked like fake uh, dragonflies, and, and the media said, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. One year later, the Washington Post came out and said, no, Homeland Security was protester with these uh, dragonflies similar to the hummingbird uh, that you showed. So they take our tax money and then militarize the police and use the regular military against us. They've gotten rid of posse comitatus uh, that bars the military involved domestically. They've passed the National Defense Authorization Act saying that Alex Jones or Christine, anybody, could just disappear. Uh, a black bag goes over our head and we're one more missing person on a milk carton and we're taken to some secret prison or we're just uh, shot in the back of the head. And, and, and when senators have had this brought up to them, Graham, Lieberman, former Senator Santorum, they say, we will kill citizens and we're already killing citizens. And they say it aggressively. All right, Alex, Lieberman said, I want to, there's a lot to talk about, so I just want to make sure we yeah. get to all of it. Um, because there's, there's a few different things concerning drones in the works here. One of them is that next month, the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, will be proposing new rules. So this isn't something that's just been going on in the past. It, it's going to continue in the future. And these new rules will make it easier for what you were talking about, for law enforcement agencies to have permission to use these drones. Now, already, um, they've been used in area wildfires to look for hot spots. They've been used to cross the border to look for drug traffickers. But now it could be a whole new ball game. Um, I want to play this clip. This was made uh, just a few months ago. It's a little animation recreating something that actually happened in North Dakota. Nelson County, North Dakota Sheriff Kelly Yonke went looking for six missing cattle on a Brosser family farm when three armed Brosser brothers chased him away. Yonke called the highway patrol, a SWAT team, a bomb squad, and a predator drone operated by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The drone was used to surveil the property until the Brosser brothers were observed to be unarmed. Then the SWAT team moved in to make the arrests. All right, so um, missing cattle. I mean, certainly it can't be ruled out that before we know it, local police departments will also use them as well for whatever they want. Sure. Uh, look, all the wildfire fighting and stuff, that was just PR to roll this out. For a long time, they have got infrared mounted looking through walls. Uh, if somebody's got a hamster cage with a hot light, you get a SWAT team raid. That's come out in the news. 
Uh, they're going after people growing cucumbers in their basements. They're already looking through our walls. Police departments 20 years ago had trucks that look right through your walls. Homeland Security announced two years ago they've got big trucks looking through people's walls. It's on local news in New York and Texas that they have the army out with big trucks with families driving through x-ray scanners. I mean, it is just crazy. The military industrial complex is basically declaring war on the American people. They've already done it to the rest of the world. Our government's been seized by the offshore six megabanks. They have hijacked America. We're an occupied country. Uh, they're now just moving to start shutting down free speech and other issues. And uh, you're right, there is a big acceleration uh, of this now happening, and it's extremely creepy. I mean, they just announced yesterday that in a bunch of U.S. cities, they've already put up uh, body scanners uh, that are on st st poles, uh, street lights that scan people as you walk down the street. I mean, this is beyond 1984 and how creepy it is. And none of it has to do with fighting Al Qaeda or something, as you just showed in the animation. It's all about. Oh my gosh, this domestic group that, you know, these farmers don't want to hand their property over, basically. And so now we're going to have the predator drone come after them. It's just so scary. And it's because the economy is imploding. Uh, and because our country is run by the big Ponzi scheme operators who know they're criminals and don't want to go to jail, they're trying to get the military lined up against us like we were the Iraqi people. And this isn't just a surveillance drones. Um, and you mentioned we've done a lot of talking here on RT as well about the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA. Um, but one aspect that we haven't really touched upon included in this legislation is a plan to allow for six national test sites where drones could fly through civil airspace. Now, obviously drones are here to stay, but I want to get your thoughts on this notion that they'll now be sort of testing here in U.S. airspace. Well, again, this is just testing the public. This is the rollout, and, and, and this is to make sure they don't have any problems so the whole program gets in trouble, so they can have absolute, complete militarization of the sky with ground-penetrating radar and infrared. They've got ground-penetrating radar in small units that can fly on small aircraft now that are unmanned that see black and white images of everything you're doing. Uh, Ten years ago, they launched high-altitude blimps uh, that have ground-penetrating radar that's already looking through our houses. I mean, this, this is beyond uh, anything that, uh, that the old Soviet Union had, Nazi Germany, Communist China. Uh, it, any other authoritarian system, most other authoritarian systems in the past wouldn't put it on paper that they would just secretly grab citizens off the street and you disappear. They're doing this because they want to intimidate us. And as you said, they're now preparing the full rollout uh, over the, the cities. And it's all Department of Defense. They have the threat fusion centers that are federalizing police. They're training them to spy on neighbors. Uh, it is beyond uh, creepy what is now unfolding. But the good news is the fact that this stuff is now coming you know, so out in the open, a lot of people that weren't awake are waking up. And I really appreciate your show because I watch it uh, routinely, and I know that you cover this every week. All right. Radio host Alex Jones in Austin, Texas, weighing in on all things drones.